Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It's the morning of day 49. We got a free day yesterday, which is excellent, so the horde could come today or tomorrow. I got a bunch of stuff moving here. Uh, got a bunch of ton of concrete going, which, should, which is good. We're going to need those blocks for sure. Got another 600 steel going. Got some bullet casings going. Got more concrete or cement moving here. I brought everything back from the other base, so we have our SMG turret which I want to bring over to our base. But before we do that, let's go down and deal with the locals. I must have killed about 20 zombies outside last night. There's some bags down here. Oh, that's just uh, regulars. That's just the locals. Yeah, there's like a lot of zombies. But we were gone for several days, so... They had plenty of time to respawn. I find if you're in an area... Ah, uh, it worked out well. And you kill the zombies, it takes a while for them to respawn. But if you leave, and then come back to the area, the place is completely full again. God, this place is like... Zombie graveyard. Like I said, I don't know how many zombies I killed last night. Maybe 20 or more? Oh, hey, buddy. Like, all over the place. Over here, down there, through the walls over there, all the way down the street. And they're still coming. I hear another one. Nurse! Oh, for crying out loud. So we got work to do on the Horde base today. We're going to stay overnight at the Horde base again. Because we want to go ahead and get... Um, we want to go ahead and get more iron for more steel. We've got to like seriously ramp up steel production. We're woefully behind on that. And concrete too. We're going to need like a lot of concrete. Keep our base up. So let's just grab this last loot bag here. Get back upstairs, drop this stuff off. Um, there's some stuff I want to get going around the house today, too. I want to try and get um, some food made. We definitely need that. We'll get some drink going. We really need to rebuild that farm, but we're still okay with food and drink, so we're I'm, I'm just shying off doing that. Until I know our other situations are stable here. Oh, man. Let me just get this stuff put away. You know what mod we don't have is Iron Breaker. What does it take to make Iron Breaker? Oh, um... Yeah. Iron Breaker. Generic schematic, steel, glue, mechanical parts, and springs. So we got the steel on us. Mechanical parts, springs... Uh, we had the steel on us. Um, glue, right? And then we need the schematics. Wow, we're low on schematics too. All right, uh, Iron Breaker mod. Let's get that crafting. All right, we modify you. This is our new pickaxe we picked up the other day. Put Iron Breaker in that once we get it. Okay, so we got uh, a bunch of steel. Actually, let's leave some of this here. Just so that we need it when we need it to build stuff, we can do that. So you can stay. Those guys all stay here. Yeah, we're pretty low on everything here. Uh, if we're not doing anything, let's get those two guys scrapping down in here. Actually, before we... Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Get that scrapping down. How much concrete got made? A little bit. A little bit more steel, that's always nice. Excellent. That's bullet tips, we don't need that. Okay, so... Um, what do we need over at the Horde base? Let's take a bit of cobble. I don't know if we're going to really need it. i got to make some sand too. So let's get um, half of that. Get sand moving after that's done. Uh, we need the SMG turret. 
which did we take it out yet no we didn't I know I put it in here SMG turret why am I not seeing the SMG turret I was sure I put it in there oh there it is why did I put this stuff in here probably because I was thinking it was the other one shit happens all right those guys can all go in there for now uh, what else do we need at the horde base? We got the wire tool there. Oh, we need ammo for the SMG turret, which will be in here. We'll fully load the turret down. We'll use that against birds, I guess. What's cheaper? Hmm. I need iron. Clay. Well, let's get, um... Get 500 more darts going. Those things are working great. Uh, I don't want to burn through all of my ammo. What else do we need? Anything? I don't think we need anything else over at the Horde base. M4 could use a little bit of a repair. And let's grab this guy. I don't think our, our coil gun needs repairing at the Horde base, but we can do it when we're over there. Let's grab you. Let's repair you. A little bit of repair, not much, but it'll have to do. We can two-hit iron now anyway with a power attack, so that iron breaker doesn't really do too much. Okay, 400 more coil rounds. Oh, uh, coil batteries. So we need this. We got. I, we have, I brought home over 600 electrical parts. So we did really well. How much coil can I get going here? If I do 60, that's 3,000, right? Yeah. We'll just get that going for now. I don't want to be like too resource, like we're already low on plastic. I don't want to be too resource intensive right off the top. We'll just do it as we go along. Okay, let's get over to the horde base now. Get some repair work done. Right after we murder these guys. Hey, get out of my house. Out of my house. Can of chili. Came all this way and gave me a can of chili. You know what? I know what I meant to do. I meant to start the Futurist Now books. Well, there wasn't a lot of useful stuff that we could use in there right away. So we'll have to do that right after uh, the next horde, probably. Now, we gotta solve this problem. Alright, clean up you guys. Let's get our... Machete. Machete kills! And doubles as a... Exchange of blows! Right, not a lot of goop down here. Yeah, so they did a fair bit of damage in this place. I have no idea when the Wandering Horde is going to show up either, so... Um, how many hit points do you guys have? I'm probably better just banging some of these out. And just replacing them. Clear up you. She tried to run at the last second. She's like, oh shit, he's got a spear. So they've broken the block around the back too, and here. Interesting. Probably when they couldn't get to me. Okay. So... First things first before I forget. Gotta do with this issue. So... Do that and that. Now... You're the primary. I think what we want to do... 
Just put it more like that. And punt them out that way. Yeah, I... Oh, fuck's sake. All that for one shot. I wonder if I should just turn off Feral Sense during the day. Well, no, nah, not really. I'm going to put you straight out, though. So we can get them all right here. Yeah, that's the plan. Alright. Um, what do we got? We got 132 blocks. A little bit of steel. Uh, what can we dump, dump here for now? Bring you down. Actually, what's in here? Not a lot. Let's just drop in... What? You for now. Um, 132. How many want to make? Like another... Uh, 50 concrete blocks, probably. Probably. Get those started. Shit. Really? Fucking really? Yeah, fuck off. Now... Is he out of range? I don't know. See, that's how they glitch. She's underground now. No idea where she ended up, though. Oh, hey, buddy. Come on. Zombie dog. So they must have went this way, based on where that guy was pointing. Well, we haven't had a chance to test out Porkins' shotgun yet. Let's give that a whirl. Come on, you bastards. Where are all y'all? Or was this just leftovers... Six shots. Another one over there. Three steel, I'll take it. The shotgun doesn't seem to be very good here. Oh, there's one over there. I don't know what they did. I have no idea where they ran to or what they did, but whatever. I'm not going to worry about it for now. we got to get this base fixed. Oh, man. At least they dropped us some, uh, some stuff. Less things I have to make or go find. All right, let's get this done down here. So I don't know if that zombie died or what. I just covered up damage blocks. At this, actually, at this point, I just want to get this laid down, I think. Oh, okay, let's get the rest of this stuff repaired. So they weren't really concerned about this side. More so than the other side. And I think this is probably from cop spit and stuff. Yeah, so there's very little damage underneath. They did a bunch of damage to this stuff, though. Wow, this one was almost gone. Okay, I'm going to update probably the ones 
in behind to stainless. Can't get that one. Now, can I get... I don't think I can get the one underground either. I'll just have to wait for them to break one block out. So, yeah, I mean... Yeah, a lot of block damage here. So, big explosions up by the window. So, yeah, definitely they went off on the catwalk. So, the stairs themselves didn't take too much damage, which is nice to see. Which means their pathing is pretty good overall. And they're not inclined to beat on anything up here. Yeah, I think having that door... Yeah, the uh, the hatch door... I mentioned that they won't pass to the door if that was um, down, but they ended up doing that, but it's only a handful of them were able to figure out how to do it. I think a lot of them are getting delayed here, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Make sure that's all stable. All right, let's get these replaced now. Copy shape, copy rotation. So I am going to stick with this and see. Like, that was a high number of demos exploding. Like, it was a very high number of, like, demos going off. So, I mean, I don't know. I think turning the turret will cause them to hit the button a lot less. Only one way to find out for sure, though, isn't there? So they did damage even here. Got those ones already. Yeah, so that hatch is down, this one right here. That'll be our emergency hatch. We can pull it up in a just-in-case situation. They didn't do a lot of damage to the front here. Which is good news. You know, there's like a very little of anything here. Maybe a little spillover spit damage or a random hit as they fall off. That's pretty good, I think. That's the block underneath. Okay. So that's done. So what are we looking at for steel now? Oh, we got good amounts. Uh, okay. I think all this needs to be steel below us. Let's start off with this section. Okay, so that's not bad. What are we looking at now? Okay. Yeah, I don't know how else you would... I'm trying to think of, like, with short horde nights and darkness falls, how else would you do it if you couldn't, uh... Like... The idea is to funnel the zombies and put them into a low footprint, right? You don't want them, like banging on shit or whatever, you want to funnel them into one small area. You know? So that you're not... I wonder where the hell this zombie went. If she's not down in the mines. That would be bad. Um, yeah, you want to kind of funnel them into a small area so you can concentrate your fire. But at the same time, they're so liable to, like, inflict some half-decent damage. Like, they, they, get, they concentrate their damage in one spot too, right? Yeah, they don't care about these, really. I'll put some plates on those. That'll help out. They do a little bit of damage down here, but not much. But I still think we need to do this to protect from blasts. So that's pretty good, and probably there, there. And these two. 
Okay, let's get some plates in here. We'll go on face. Uh, here. Place that guy. And that guy. Because we know they're going after those ones. Not really doing anything to this one yet. Those were a little bit of splash damage from the dogs from before. From a few days back, I think. Um, okay. How much of this do I want to do to reinforce? Probably not a lot. Let's take you up, though. Just to protect you there. And I'll do the same thing here. And we'll run a plate up here. Alright, that'll add some blast protection. Yeah, we don't need to do all of that. Gotta conserve my resources here now. What are we looking at for steel? All right, we got another 50 some odd blocks we can upgrade. Uh, what do we upgrade then? The stairwell? Maybe these guys for a little protection. Now we were looking at doing, do I want to do it? You know what, let's try this tonight. We'll put... I'm gonna go this way. I'm interested to see how that plays out. We'll leave it as concrete. If they break them, no big deal. But I'm interested to see what they do with that. Like, I'm sure most of the zombies can fit through it. Now, is there anything I want to do? I, oh, yeah, the roof. So let's go up. Oh, uh, before we do anything else, let's get... So, shape. I want to grab the railings again. Railings? Because I can reach through these, right? So let's go advanced. Put it this way. There. Now, what we're going to do is right here, shape, we want to go with ladders, and we're going to build a little cage in here and a door at the top. So if we need to go at during the horde night, we can actually get up above, but I want to build this. It's kind of a shark cage, but it's really a succubus cage. Can I get... Oh, yeah, these are... There we go. You and you. And then we're still in advanced. Ah, come on, I can't see what I'm doing here. That one. So all the way up. So this is one of those things, if we have to step out here at nighttime, we can do it, but not have to worry too much about succubi... Sucking on our buy. That makes sense. Uh, yep, that one. Four. We're going to go up top in a second. Okay. And then we want to do shape. We want to grab these guys. Let's make sure we're not. Where are you going? You're going correctly here. No. You gotta go there. No. Oh, you're on the inside. So you need to go at the bottom then. You're not on advanced, are you? So like that. 
and then we put these guys in here. I hear ya. I hear ya. Damn it, I was aiming for her head to save ammo, and then what happens? I miss. Good thing I saved that ammo, eh? Alright, now we can go ahead and copy shape. Oops, copy shape. And advanced. There it is. So that should hold on just fine. Let's get up here. This doesn't look that great, but I don't really care. A lot of people have good looking bases, man. I'm like, just want it to be functional. I don't really care how it looks. If I don't die at the end of the night, then it's a win. Okay. Like that. And then we want to do... Uh... Fuck, Mo, really? Okay, we want to do plates at the top, I think. So, shape. Across here. Now, the question is, do I make this a hatch or a door? Oh, man, I think I made a mistake. I think I want to make this a hatch. This is going to come out. Pretty soon we're going to have friggin' uh, suck you by. And this is just not going to cut it. I don't care how many of these turrets you put up here. You just ain't going to cut it. You got to you gotta kind of shoot them yourself. Do I have my wire tool? I brought the switches over, so let's get a switch out. Put the switch... Uh, the top one for the turret. That's damaged. It is. Tiny bit of spit making its way through, I think. Hope it doesn't damage these things. Alright, we'll do that. Then my wire tool. Did I take my wire tool out? Thought I did. I did. There to there. There. To here. Excellent. Now, um... You there. I heard somebody. Yeah, these are gotta- these are gotta be, um, bars so I can shoot up on the succubi. And out here too, right? Uh, okay. Turn you on. That's in the wrong spot. I need a land claim block. Damn it! Ah! Yeah, it's in the wrong spot. It's got to go for... I don't know where it's got to go. It's got to be out of my way when I come up the uh, ladder. I'm not running on top of it. So let's put you... Just down here for now. We'll pick you up. Okay, now you... Maybe like that. Let's get it wired up here. Uh, okay. With that done, we want to cover above us on this side and this side. the birds attacking the roof 
That should probably be good. All right, let's get this out of here now. Now we can load you up. All right, well, we got anti-air defense. Now let's take this out. Okay, no horde tonight, so it's definitely coming tomorrow. I didn't even check to, to like I didn't even think to check that. I probably should have. Um, pointing right out of here. Copy rotation or copy shape. Copy rotation. And yeah, copy rotation. And the same here. Alright, now we need bars on top and we need bars here. One, two, one, two, and then let's get you. But these guys can go on top. Like so, I think. Then we can put a door right here. Actually, let's do uh, some posts here. Shape, post, advanced. So what this does, it actually adds stability to the roof. By connecting it to these blocks here, it connects those ones. So if for whatever reason, like this is actually just partially a weight bearing load. So if they break a few of them out, it's not going to collapse. All right, we've got 28 concrete blocks left. That's not bad. We did pretty well here. Let's get this upgraded. I don't even have wood on me, huh? Well, that figures. We got wood. We got okay. We got cobble and concrete on me. Cool. That's done. Let's use one of these guys. Okay. So now we just need a steel door. Which I can make it home. I can make it... Uh, I need... No, I need forged iron. I don't have any springs here, I don't think. No. Okay, that's fine. We'll make a steel door for this. This lets us get up here if we have to get up here and do stuff. I'm going to leave this here for now because I'll probably put that... Uh, the junk turret up here anyway. To help contribute. Because we can leave the junk... I think the darts are probably cheaper than the ammo. If things get crazy up atop, if things get crazy on top, let's make this cobble. Then I can turn this turret on, but I'll leave it off during the horde unless I need it to save a bit of ammo. All right, now, a little bit of repairs inside here, not much. What about the blocks underneath? You should be stainless, though. You're good. That block needs to be repaired, but it can't. Ah, damn it. Now I need to be repaired. Damn it. Let's do these as well. Ah, I thought I could make it through. Yeah, you know what Thought did, right? Actually, let's get those on a switch too. Now that I think about it. Um, where is... Let's pull you out, because I need to repair them. Pull you out. My wire tool's on me. I need another switch, though. Oh, yeah, my lights. Bring the lights down so we can light up this place. So let's get these on a switch. Yeah, I like these railings that you can actually kind of see through them. All right, those are corrected. Now, let's fix whatever we can here. Shouldn't be a lot to repair. Concrete took a little bit, though. So on that one, I'll be a little bit here. Yeah, just a tiny bit. Oh, more on the top, though, eh? That's interesting.
Yeah, the inside blocks still take a bit of damage. Because the, the cop spit really gets everywhere. Like, in between cracks, everywhere. I'll probably be using these doors tonight. Or tomorrow night, that'll be. Cobble. Okay. Uh, do I want to go back to the house and get anything? I need to make that door, but I don't have to have it right now. Should I just make a wood door? Just so on Horde Night the vultures don't actually decide to, to like... Like if I forget to get a steel one, at least the, you know, the vultures won't decide to fly in here. I'm not going to use any iron on it, it's a waste of iron. Alright, that's that part done. Cool, now what are we looking at for steel? 29. How much do I have in here? Nothing. So we will have to go back to the house tomorrow. Let's make another 50 uh, concrete shapes. We will have to go back to the house tomorrow. Uh, so let's put the stuff we want to take with us in there. Ammo can stay here. We'll keep the 762 on us. Actually, we got to keep my wood and my stone on me again. I don't need it very often, but when I do need it, I hate not having it, you know? Alright, lights. Let's have a look at our shapes here. There's not a lot, I don't think, light-wise. These guys, I think, are the best. They're not very harsh, but they give out a half-decent amount of light. So put one there, and one there. That should be enough. Now, how do we light up outside without getting these things destroyed? An interesting question. How much light will that provide? Okay, shape. Get our plate. Copy the rotation of that. Gonna make this a straight, uh, straight up. So now, that's not gonna cast light downward, though, is it? I'm better off making um, spotlights, I think. Sconce lights won't do it. Tell you what, let's try one. Let's put it right there. Let's just go wire it up and see what it looks like. So we want to do... Let's put those away for now. Let's put our lights on one here. So that'll be the lighting. Should really get a junction box, but... I don't really care about how that looks. Uh, you to you. So how much... Is it actually casting anything down there? It doesn't look like it, does it? Uh, looks like it's casting maybe a little bit on those. I don't know, it's so hard to tell. But this gives us plenty of light inside here. We'll walk into those. Actually, we've got them on a thing now. Yeah, we'll have to make spotlights. Alright, let's use up our steel down below. Um... On the floor, we've got 29 left. So we'll use it up down here. Uh, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 2. We'll put a bit more over here. Yeah, we're out. Alright, that's fine. It'll all be stainless at some point, but uh, that's going to have to wait. All right, well, I think I'm going to spend the night down in the bunker. Put you in there for now. I'm going to get some proper storage boxes made for this place, too. Uh, let's just drop that stuff in there. All right, well, that's not too bad, I guess. That can go in there, too. Okay, well, I am going to go down into the, the uh, bunker. Put you there. Just in case someone shows up at the door tonight. Uh, I'm going to go down and do some iron mining. Hopefully you don't call in a screamer, but we'll see. And then tomorrow... Yeah, see... I'm so worried about... Them getting in here. You know, there's a good possibility they can, you know? Yeah, that should be fine, I think. So tomorrow, um, what we got to do is uh, go back to the house. We got to make food. Um, I may go after that cracker book tomorrow. We got time. We're doing well with the horde base here. I mean, I think we're ready for the next horde. I'm not that worried about it. We should be able to handle the next horde with what we have, I think. Uh, unless something crazy happens with the next horde, we should be fine. Um... But yeah, then we'll go to the cracker book. Uh, get that done. I'll check to see if Bob... Maybe we go to Bob's and actually do some selling. And see if he's got a mission for the cracker book. Because we can, if we can double loot that place, that'll definitely give us enough pages for a mastery book. Then I gotta decide what that's gonna be. I gotta decide if we just kinda like... I don't know how long I want this series to go. But we gotta do the final bunker. Right? So that's got to get done. But then after that, I mean, I think we just do what I did before and just crank up the horde, see how much we can handle. Uh, I'm interested to see maybe if we have three junk turrets, like, or three uh, sledges going outside, if we'll be able to handle, like, a massive horde. My machine, I don't think, will handle 64. The last time I did it on 64, you guys remember the last series if you watched it. It was brutal, that last horde. 32 was was pretty tricky, but the last one was really bad because of all the uh, demon fire. And we actually had to retreat to my second... Uh, my second strong point because they broke through the... Um, they broke through the hatches on the outer wall. But for this one, um, I am going to be doing repairing as I go. Unlike the last one where I did the whole thing without, with no repairs. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below. I always enjoy reading them. And until next time, we'll see you later.